Hello friends, welcome to the next part of Go Programming Tutorials. Now, in this section, we are going to see some of the utilities called as Go Tools. Already we have seen some of the Go Tools like Go Format and Go Doc. Go Format, we used to organize the code, what we have written in Go code, it may look ugly, but using the Go Format, the indentation, spacing, everything will be taken care by this utility. Go Doc, we know how to see the details and documentations about a package and the functions inside the package. Already we have seen these tools in our previous video sessions. Now we are going to see some other important tools provided by Go ecosystem to make our life easier as a developer or programmer. Right. Now let us open the command prompt. So I am switching over to our regular directory Go demo. I don't have any files inside it. Now I am going to create a new file. So I am going to name my file as pico clean demo dot go. So as usual I am going to add package main import fmt function main. So inside the main function as usual we are going to alt format dot println go tools demo i am just naming them save the code now what i am going to do i am going to run the command pico sorry go build clean demo dot go so since the source code name is clean demo i am providing the name to the go build command so it will generate a binary for me with the name clean demo so using the same binary i am running the command clean demo so it will give me the output so the first version of the go build command carries a dot go file as an argument that dot go file must have a main method and a main package inside it then only this is considered as a command otherwise it is a package so whenever you have a go command available in your current package that needs to be supplied as a argument to the go build command then automatically a binary will be generated in the name of your go command here it is clean demo so we just need to run the dot slash clean demo it will execute the code for us this is a conventional way of using the go build now we have one more way of building the source code what it is instead of giving the command line with the dot go name i am simply going to run the command go build without any command line arguments what will happen if you provide a command line argument with a dot go file name the go compiler will generate the binary in the name of the dot go file if you are not providing any command line argument the go compiler will generate a binary with the name of the package here in this case the package is go demo our package folder is go demo inside the go demo we are having our files so the go build command without a command line argument will generate a, a binary with the name go demo that is the package name so by default the go compiler will generate a binary with the package name the go compiler will automatically understand the main package method containing inside our package folder and creates a binary with the package name to it now in order to run the particular code i just need to run the package name you see the same code so both dot clean demo and dot go demo both of them giving the same output that is when without providing the source code name automatically the go compiler will generate the binary with the containing package name if you provide the source code automatically it identifies the source code name and the binary generated will have the source code name on it this is the very important thing to be noted while building go code so the go build command has two variants the one is go build with a dot go source file as a 
command line argument will generate a binary with the same name as the dot go file whereas the go build without a command line argument will generate a binary in the name of the package containing the dot go file containing the go command what is a go command source code go source go source with main pack cage and function main function so in our case in this example we have go demo inside go demo we have clean demo dot go this class contains sorry this file contains main package and main method so the binary generated for clean demo dot go will have the name go demo because we are not providing any command line arguments while doing the go build so automatically it is got generated okay so now we have generated two or more binaries right we are keep on whenever you compile it will generate a binary for you but now i am done with executing my code and i am all done with everything now i need to keep my directory clean i want only the source codes i am not interested with the binaries and all of course there is a way you can go and directly remove the files using delete or rm or anything but go provides a clean tool to clear all the generated binaries from your current working directory so just to type the command go clean if you type ls all these binaries will be gone so the binaries will be generated once you build your code but if you run the go clean command sorry all the binaries generated will be cleared from your current folder so go clean command helps you to keep your current working directory clean and tidy from other binaries so go clean used to keep the current source code directory clean and tidy from binaries this is a one of the useful commands for us to keep our directory clean right now whenever whenever we are working on go what we used to do to execute a particular go program we used to run go build clean demo dot go it will generate a binary for us we will run the command clean demo we will get the output so every execution of a go code contains two steps one is compilation using go build and another one is running the executable now there is an utility to club these two steps in a single shot so no need for us to compile and execute every time a single shot will do the compilation and execution for us there is an utility go run for us right now using the go clean command so i am clearing the binaries now i have only clean demo dot go inside my current folder so to generate a binary conventionally we do go build file name and we will do dot slash the file name to run the executable but now what i am going to do go run just i am going to pass the file name this command will compile the code and execute it for me see here go tools demo so if you type ls there are no binaries generated so what does it mean internally this run utility executes three commands the first command it executes is go build it will generate a binary and it will run the binary after executing the binary file it runs go clean implicitly so that implicitly the generated binary will also get deleted and our current directory looks clean and tidy as it was before so the go run command is a shortcut command for us to run go build execute the file and clean the binaries so it is a very good utility we are going to use the go run command throughout our future sessions on go programming because you need to know the efficiency of go run utility right 
I will write them here as well. It is a combination of the following three go commands. The first one is go build. Second one is clean demo dot go. Next one is dot slash clean demo. Third one is go clean. So this is a compilation. This is to execute. This is to clean the binaries. So this go run is a shortcut with the combination of the following three go commands. So instead of doing all these things separately, we just run go run the file name. Automatically it does the compilation, executes it and clears the binaries and comes back to you. So it is a very handy command or tool which helps us to execute go programs in an easy manner. Right. Let us go to our code again. Open the Pico editor. Right. This is my code. Now I am going to add one more line to my code. I am having a variable a with a value of 10 format dot printf. Now I am going to use the formatted output. The value of a is percentage d comma a. So all of you know that the variable a is being assigned the value 10. I am going to print the value a with the format percentage d given here. That means integer decimal. So the value of a will be printed in that particular place where I have specified the format specification. Now I am going to compile the code and run it. Go run. So the value of a is 10 because I have provided the value a equal to 10 while compiling automatically the value a is being substituted in the place of percentage d this is the usual way okay so what if if i accidentally missed that percentage d so i am writing a very big program of 200 300 lines somewhere accidentally i missed the percentage d format specification placeholder here so it is an error but syntactically it is correct but the implementation is wrong right uh, syntactically a string is being passed so it is fine but the implementation is wrong such type of errors are very much common in a programming scenario while going from the bigger programs see here I am going to compile them and run them it executes so there is without any issue the code compiles and runs but the response is not as, as expected the value of a is see here some junk value extra int a equal to 10 so it identifies an extra integer value as being provided to the printf statement while seeing the code the value a is an extra value because percentage d is not being mentioned here but a is being passed here so it doesn't know where to replace the value a in this particular string and it spits out the error the a variable is an extra one it is syntactically correct but functionally it is wrong such type of errors even though if you run the compiler separately will not be catched up because the error it permits the compiler permits the say, functional errors it only catches the syntactical errors but during the run time it shows unexpected output and all from that we will come to know there is an error so we need to fix it in order to catch such kind of functional errors at the time of compilation itself there is an utility provided by go community that utility is called wet so we can run the go wet tool in the source code then the wet will understand what type of functional errors in there your code as well go wet clean demo dot go this is the command line for that see here in the clean demo dot go line number six no formatting directive in printf call so it identifies the functional errors or implementation errors as well so go wet is the tool used to identify functional or implementational errors open your source code now you can see the value of a is slash n in this place i am going to add percentage d now compile the code and exit it 
now i am going to run the go wet tool so the go wet tool now shows no errors at all that means the error we found so far as being fixed now i am going to run the code clean demo it executes but i need to compile it again go instead of compiling i am going to use the go run command see here the value of a is 10 what does it means the wet tool identifies functional or implementation errors whereas the go build or go run comp knows only the compilation errors so it is a good practice to run go wet before deploying your code because go compiler only able to catch the compilation errors whereas go wet can identify your syntactical and implementation errors as well so that's about the go wet tool so the go wet tool is capable to catch implementation and functional errors so these are all the major four utilities we are very much interested while doing the go programming language so please update your comments wherever you are having any doubts below i will definitely reply to your comments individually subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell button to get the updates on the channel so i will keep on updating new videos in this channel please be standby and watch the updates thank you for your support